Empire and see if Benny Empire is still here. Well, it's been long. I, you know, posted a video on YouTube. That's because I did that. I, I created my YouTube um, channel when I was pregnant. So after I put to bed, I couldn't continue due to some circumstances like that. So but now I am back to give you guys some skincare tips to tell you the bitter truth and also to guide you through skincare. So guys, before we start, I would like to tell you guys the basics before starting a skincare business. I would like to advise anyone who has a passion to go or to, to, to do a skincare business. I would like to advise you to first of all go to a formal training. It is very important. Yes, there are so many recipes on YouTube and all that, so many DIYs, but I would advise you to go for a good formal training. Reasons because so many recipes on YouTube are misleading people. You get it's not everything that comes to YouTube to say, it's not every truth that comes to YouTube to tell you. So that is why I urge anyone that wants to go into the business to make sure you go for a formal training. And before that, you have to decide. If you want to be a natural formulator, an organic formulator, or a pro mixer, these are the three um, areas in skincare. So you learn which you want to be very perfect and which you want to um, focus more on and formulate more on. Like me, when I wanted to start at first what actually made me start skincare line was when i gave birth my skin was so 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 bad so, so damaged i got some organic products that was my first time using organic products i used it on my skin it was improving it as well but though it was quite expensive and i started looking into it like why can't i like this and you know make for my skin because i don't play with my skin even in school, my friends know me. I don't play with my skin. And then I started going on YouTube thinking I would find everything I wanted there. I didn't know I, I should go for a training. And then I went to YouTube, I got some recipes, I tried it on, and <laughs> the result was not good. The result was actually not good. I did some homemade um, DIY lotions and all that, it turned, it turned out bad. Then I didn't know about preservatives and the rest. You know, in some DIYs, they don't mention that. And then, and then, I actually saw some cheaper training online, you know, on Facebook. I thought they were new. I, I think I paid as little as 2,000 euro then to learn. I was happy, you know, I thought I had learned. And then, on the long run, I got to find out that wasn't a training. That was a waste of time. But though I won't really call it a total waste of time because I actually learned one or two things that made me want to go further. I rush to want to sell your products to the public. Don't be in a rush to want to make money. Because you've trained, you've done this, you want to start making money. Don't be in a rush. Take out some time. Use the product on your skin. Once you have a good and healthy skin, I believe that alone is a selling point for you. Yeah. That alone is a selling point for you. So work on yourself first. Before wanting to sell to the public. Don't be too eager. And don't be too after the gains of the business yes for a starter you might have losses i had losses you know? and you can look for your neighbors your family friends to be your lab rats you know lab rat in the sense that people that test run your products you use them to test run a particular product you can use your family your friend your neighbor and keep a close eye on them Get reviews from them and then start. 
and when you start on this business you also need to be truthful no matter what if you're a pro mixer tell the person you're pro mixer if you're an organic seller tell the person it's an organic if it's natural tell the person what your product is and what they are expecting just be truthful you don't, don't need to lie and the difference you don't need to be discouraged it's okay it's fine if friends and family don't patronize you let me tell you something when i started mine i had young girls my family this friends they didn't patronize me but i didn't give up because i know it's what i had passion for i know that outsider who doesn't even know me will patronize me so you don't just need to think or worry about you not gaining immediately it's not um just like buying and selling of food stops that people must eat and you know that's not the way the business is so i don't think there's any reason for you to be discouraged unless it is not your passion before you just go into the skincare just just be careful of the brands you use to train with not all the glitters on ig is gold number one thing you should know and another thing you should know again is that every skin has its flaws every skin has its flaws and just because you're using a good product yourself doesn't mean you don't tend to break out or you don't you don't tend to have one or two issues later or you know the ability for you to treat that issue it's what makes you a skincare expert yeah sometimes someone comes sometimes diagnosis comes sometimes pimples and everything they come you're a woman when you're a human being where well, change is age and then if you're among <laughs> if you're among those people who come to come to to watch get recipes and make to sell to the masses please stop it i beg you in the name of god stop it please go stop it it's not good go get from the training go get somebody trained from a very good source if you're one of those people who do 1k 2k training and you go to spoil people's skin and spoil this business stop it just because we give um oh there are so many skincare tips on youtube that doesn't stop you from going to get good training out there if, I believe what what is what doing is what doing well. If you know you want to go into this business, put in your time, put in your energy, put in your money. Don't be too stingy. How can someone that is stingy even sell skincare products? Where you where how where you are supposed to put alpha butane or glitter to your powder? You you have to look for a substitute because you don't have money to buy that expensive powder. How do you want to do that? Kind of thing? So we have come to the end of the video for today. Do have a nice day and please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of the videos. I'm going to be talking about more skincare related um, problems more skincare related products and i'm also going to be sharing reviews of some branded products i'm also going to be doing so much on skincare on my channel from today i will try as much as i can to keep this channel so active for you guys to learn one or two things and skincare you know get to treat our skin issues and know that i get to talk so much about skincare and words of encouragement so hi and thank you for your time so much please help this channel grow please and you will not regret it i promise to share beneficial um, um topics and things that would help you 
you know, skincare area.